Hello, hello, it's Anna Mae, and today I'm going to be talking about all of my favourite styling products and tools for wavy, curly hair. This is probably not the best day to film this because I am not having the best of hair days. I just washed my hair actually, but I had planned to do it, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna stick to the plan. I started to style my hair in its natural wavy curly texture. You can see it in, in a better light, let's say, on my Instagram at Anime by Design. That's where you might see it looking better than it does today. But that was this time last year. I started off with Diva Curl. I no longer use all of those products, but I've kind of figured out what works, what doesn't work. I also don't fully follow the curly girl method because it just doesn't work for me. I never did commit to it because it was just not going to be possible for me and my personal hair type. So um, I don't know what category my hair is. Um, it can be vastly different based on the day. So I'll put in maybe two examples here. So it is what it is. It's hair. So obviously in my previous video I went through like how I wash and style my hair, kind of the routine. But today I'm going to show you all of the pr styling products I use. Um, so not so much shampoo and conditioner kind of post shower product and then stuff because sometimes the stuff is just as helpful as the products themselves when it comes to styling your hair. So enough babbling, let's jump into it. So I'm going to start off with the products, like all the styling products that I use and then go into like tools. But I will mention that I, obviously I said I used to use Diva Curl shampoo and conditioner, it was fine. If you aren't aware, so maybe why I'm reluctant to talk about Diva Curl, um, the brand has come under huge scrutiny recently. You'll see the hashtag Diva Damage. There's um, a big Facebook group with a lot of people who have had really, really bad side effects to using their products. I think that people's experiences are totally valid. I did not have that experience and it's really, sad what has happened to some people and what's the damage that's come to their hair and their scalp and things like that um but i still own products and i will still use products from diva curl hate me if you want use the products at your own risk um but it's something i'm still willing to use so that little disclaimer over i don't use that many diva curl products so we're limiting and we're moving past them. So, styling products. This product is really new to me. It is by the brand As I Am, and it's the Long and Luxe Grow Yogurt Leave-In Conditioner. So I have fairly long hair. Also, if my hair seems a little greenish, that's a whole situation. There's a lot of copper in the water where I live. I have a filter. It, it only works to a certain level. So this is a leave-in conditioner. I had not been using a leave-in product, like a leave-in conditioning type product this whole time uh, and I was having a lot of tangly issues. I do have very tangly hair naturally but it had been fine for a long time and now I think it's because of my hair is always in a bun and things like that it's just becoming a big issue. This is amazing. It says it's for hair types three and four. I know that my hair type is not three or four. If anything I'd be like max 3a in some parts um, but I feel like that's a general guide. I think that you can if it works for your hair it works for your hair. This smells incredible oh my gosh what is this smell pomegranate and something pomegranate and passion fruit it doesn't leave a scent on your hair but it is fantastic at detangling it does take away some of the volume um and you know kind of lessens hold that you might have in your hair but if you just want your hair to be soft and detangled this is amazing and hopefully it actually helps with like growing out hair because I'd like that, but it smells so good and it's not super expensive. So I'll leave a link for that down below. Another similar product, um, well, this is a styling milk, but it's a milk, it's more creamy type, um, is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Style Milk for Thick Curly Hair from Shea Moisture. So my hair is not thick. I don't know if you can tell that right now. I have very fine hair. I don't have a lot of hair. So this was something, I think I got it on sale. Um, is re It smells really good, again. Uh, it works if I just want to really moisturize my hair. I'm not really trying to style my hair in the same sense. With the as I am, I can still style my hair fine. Uh, well, maybe not today, but generally I can still style my hair to uh, an appropriate level. Um, this, not so much. I think it would work for 
a different hair type, but I do really like it for just moisturizing my hair. That's silk protein and neem oil. So um, it's just kind of a nice leave-in product. Maybe if you're not going anywhere, but you just want to like treat your hair a bit. Um, and I did use this to like help me detangle before as well. And it was pretty helpful. So the two like style hold products I use are Boots Curl Cream, a classic, and Diva Curl. <laughs> so this is the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. Um, I really got hooked on this when I started using Diva Curl products. Again, I love the smell. Oh my gosh, I love this smell. It definitely does dry out your hair a bit. I'll say that. Um, you can now buy this from Feel Unique, I think, in Europe, which is great, but bad. I don't know, the jury's still out, okay? The jury's still out on that. I'm not using any products that are like on my scalp, but I'm still happy to use things on the lengths of my hair and just take precaution. I love the light defining gel. It really works for me. Um, I have a neighbor, she has very curly hair. She loves it too. It's kind of pricey, um, so I might not continue using it. But if you have any suggestions, I think Giovanni's known to have pretty good uh, gel so and I'll, I'd be happy to try like a much harder hold gel as well so um yeah that's what I'm using at the minute I really like it I love the smell so much um but I'm also willing to try other gels but I love this and then a classic it is usually all pink but this is also almost empty this is the boots curl cream if you are in a country that has a boots you need to get this. Just it's like 270 or something like that. It says to use on damp or dry hair. Work through evenly from root to tip. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Uh I put this in wet hair, like pretty soaking wet hair. Um or even if it's been a little bit like towel not towel, but you know, like a little bit dried. Um you kind of glaze it in and scrunch it in and this is the best. If you're starting to style your hair wavy or curly and you're not sure what to start off with in products and you're just you're not sure if you'll even like it just buy a boots curl cream and just work with this first it is the bomb this stuff is amazing i go through it pretty quickly um it's only 250 milliliters but your girl has a lot of hair this is like a top tier product most people who use this will tell you that it's the best so those are I don't have that many. Those are kind of the styling products I use. I'm kind of branching out into things at the minute, um, but I also don't like to have loads and loads of products. I hate having like loads of products in my basket and just stress me out. So now we're gonna move on to brushes. And well, actually we'll go on to like the drying process first, but the opposite of drying, water. This is a spray bottle and you'll see a lot of people with these if you saw that and yeah now I'm all wet but it is a super fine mist this thing is a gem really inexpensive um and I put the filtered water from our shower like with the thing on it so because my hair is you know the whole green situation but that is great if you're applying product and it's just getting a little bit too dry in sections and starting to get that kind of wet frizz look and you need to smooth it back down the spray bottle game changer absolutely you need to try it if you haven't it's a really easy way to kind of up your game that's like curl cream this these are like the cheap ways that you can really up your hair game as well as that I have all of these hair towels so I don't use microfiber towels because of I don't want to necessarily be buying more microfiber things than I need to because they do pollute the water so this is an old pair of cotton pajamas like cotton and elastine pajamas um, they got really worn out and I honestly tore a hole in them. So the fabric was so soft, I decided to cut them up and use them as hair towels. So that's what I use to dry my hair. You do not put a bath towel near your hair. If you are completely new to this, do not put a bath towel near your hair. Microfiber or t-shirt type things only. Um, but that's one of the big things I like to do is cut up old t-shirts or just have old t-shirts and use that to dry your hair. For brushes, I actually have four things because I'm insane. So in the shower I use a wet brush. I've had this wet brush for a long time and it's fantastic. It's getting a little bit scraggly but really does the job um, and it's great because it doesn't hold water because it's the vented kind. Although a lot of people who do like curly girl method they don't wash their hair very often because I'm 
wavy that's not really an option for me i would get like folliculitis i also you'll notice i don't have any dry shampoo here i don't use dry shampoo um it's just not a good situation for me or my scalp so if i'm leaving my hair like an extra half you know like an extra 12 hours to 24 hours so we're getting like almost a third day out of it i will use this denman brush and really get in at my roots to kind of move things around and um, it's also I also use it through the length of my hair it's just a boar bristle brush um it definitely makes my hair indescribably puffy like it's next level so I would never do this if I was going anywhere or doing anything uh it's strictly like before shower or going to bed or like brush up my hair braid it but it's really good for like getting it at your scalp and it just feels like so nice and refreshing um it is very scratchy though so maybe be careful um but if you have like very oily hair like me it really does help with spreading out the oil another denman product is the classic denman brush this has become very popular um i've seen it a lot recently in like curly hair videos is using a denman brush to style your hair i am still on the fence about this but it is really good to have a really thorough detangle um it doesn't mesh well with some of my products I've learned today uh it very much causes like a lot of frothiness if I had it with curl cream and I've combed out my hair with curl cream in it before and it hasn't been an issue but when I think it's because there's so many bristles maybe I should take out some bristles when I brushed it through it just like got foamy and it was a whole situation so because my hair was still quite wet at the time uh but a Denman brush is a really good basic brush to have anyways. Um, you could also use this in the shower fully wet if you wanted to because it's like rubberized and everything. So it's a good standard one to have. And then lastly, a comb from Kent. This is like a detangling comb. Um, notice detangling is a really big part of all of this. This is a newer addition. I'm really liking it. I'll use it when my hair is dry just to like pick sections um, because of this. The comb teeth are kind of strange. But you can tell that it's actually really, it wasn't It wasn't expensive, but you can tell that it's a high quality comb. There's no rough edges or anything for your hair to get stuck in. So I've really been liking this. I don't think you'd need this if you don't have super, does that make sense? You don't need this if you have, you only need this if you have super tangly hair. That's what I'm trying to say. But I really like it for that, so. And lastly, I have two things that I use to keep my hair out of the way on a day-to-day -day basis when I don't want my hair to be like, you know, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not trying to look my best, <laughs> I'm not trying to, you know, impress anybody, especially right now, a lot of us are just at home and you want to have your hair maybe out of the way, but safely. The two things that I suggest most are, first, silk scrunchies. I bought a lot of these on Amazon. I don't shop on Amazon very often, I don't really like to. I bought a massive pack of these when I was in the US. I can't remember exactly why, I just knew that they were popular and a lot of people get the ones from Slip. They're expensive. I think any silky satin scrunchie is fine. Actually, that reminds me, also satin pillowcase. You need one of them. That's like a basic level thing. Uh, you don't need to spend a lot of money on them, but get a couple. They're a real game changer, especially for any like halo frizz kind of things that you get. It really helps with breakage. But satin scrunchies are great. I'm not gonna tie up my hair right now, but this is pretty much the only thing I use to tie my hair in a ponytail. I can also tie my hair into a bun with these. Like, I'll, maybe I'll wreck my hair and I'll show you how I put my hair in a bun. But I can just kind of slot that around like a little baby gymnast. And these are the best. They're, they don't damage your hair. And honestly, if you keep tying your hair with these and sliding them out, like, throughout the day, you'll notice your hair is, like, smoother and defrizzed. They're amazing and you don't need to spend money on them just whatever ones you can find and as well for putting my hair in a bun or just kind of clipping it out of the way i have these oh, there's hair stuck in them i had to get the hair out of everything that i showed you today it was kind of gross but these little jaw clips i think these are from forever 21 a long time ago like when i used to shop in forever 21 which is a long time ago um they have little silicone maybe they're not actually these could be from that brand like scoonchi whatever it's called um but these are what i use to take my hair out of the way all the time and i'll show you how i put it in a bun basically wrecking your hair i just 
twisty twist, twisty twist, and clip it into place. Wow, how cute. It looks like one of those things, those air, was that an air vent thing on the top of a building? But uh, yeah, that is how I bun my hair, usually when I'm painting or when I'm doing other things. That is my go-to. I have those clips everywhere in the house or in every pocket of every jacket ever. Uh, they're in my car. I, I have a huge collection of these, but these are so great because they can keep your hair out of the way and just a little clip holds it all in place. That is, if your hair is as rough as mine. My hair is kind of wiry, so it kind of holds itself. I also don't necessarily need to put any clip in there. It'll just hold, but they do give it a bit more stability. It's a little bit more subtle than the scrunchie. So that was as fast as I could. All of my favorite products and tools for styling my hair. It's kind of difficult to navigate the whole wavy curly hair space um, because everyone's hair is so different, but hopefully you have some ideas from these products or you want to try them out. You're figuring out new things for your hair. If you have any suggestions for another gel that is not Diva Curl, Leave it in the comments down below. Uh, I'd be interested to hear it, because, especially if it's available in Europe. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Design. And I will see you in my next video.